Minho cow. The Minhoco, big earthworm in Brazilian Portuguese, is a large earthworm-like cryptid that allegedly exists in the forests of South America. It reportedly resembles a giant worm, with scaly black skin, a readily visible mouth, and a pair of tentacle-like structures protruding from its head. According to at least one witness, it also has a pig-like snout. Although this species is principally fossorial, it also has aquatic habits. It has been reported to prey on large surface animals, including cattle, by suddenly capturing them from below the water. It is thought to be a burrowing animal, producing enormous trenches as it digs, which suggests a body diameter of up to 10 feet. Its body length is stated to vary, from 75 up to 150 feet. There have been cases of houses and other man-made structures collapsing, and rivers having their courses altered, allegedly due to the Minhoko's burrowing activity. These tunnels most commonly appear after periods of continuous rain, indicating that the Minhoko is more active during such periods and might even keep itself hidden during dry days. The beast's tunnels will sometimes flood, creating subterranean water bodies. Cryptozoologist Carl Schuker has suggested that this animal may be an example of a giant Sicilian. Sicilians are a poorly known group of amphibians with worm-like, limbless bodies, subterranean or aquatic habits, and tentacle-like sense organs on their heads. Also, most Sicilians do inhabit the forests of South America, which fits the description of the Minhoko well. However, known Sicilians do not even begin to approach the supposed size of this animal. In On the Track of Unknown Animals, Bernard Heuvelman suggests that the animal may be a surviving glyptodont. However, unlike their modern relatives, the armadillos, there is no evidence that glyptodonts had burrowing habits. Whatever kind of creature the Minhoko was, if real, it appears to be extinct now, as there have been no reported Minhoko sightings in the past 130 years. Descriptions the Minhoko was described to European explorers and naturalists in the 19th century by locals in Brazil. The French naturalist Augustin Saint-Hilaire described in December 1846 accounts of the Minhoko in Padre Aranda and Faya lakes, with claims that they lived in the lakes and often dragged horses and horned cattle under the water. He determined Minhoko to be an augmentative of Minhoka, Portuguese for the earthworm. Descriptions related to him claim the creature to have a visible mouth and that it does not rise to the surface of the water, but that it causes animals to disappear by seizing them by the belly. Other accounts claim the Minhoko to be a true fish provided with fins. Santillaire hypothesized that the Minhoko he was told about was a large species of South American lungfish. It was also reported in an article in a German scientific journal in 1878 by German naturalist Dr. Fritz Mola, and also summarized in Nature, largely based on accounts by Curitabano's resident Senor Labino. It was claimed to exist in the highlands in the south of the country and was described as a gigantic earthworm, 50 yards, 46 meters, in length and 5, 4.6, in breadth, and covered with bones as if with a coat of mail, while other accounts describe it as 30 or 40 feet, 9 or 12 meters, long and a couple of yards, 1.8 meters, broad. It was said to uproot trees and leave deep trenches in its path, and to prefer damp conditions. The lack of sightings by humans was explained by the Minhokos having retiring habits. Another claimed sighting came from Francisco de Amaral Varela, who stated that the creature had a snout like a pig. An earlier claim stated that it had horns. A claimed sighting of a dead Minhoko from 1849 stated that it had skin that was as thick as the bark of a pine tree, and formed of hard scales like those of an armadillo. Mulla speculated that it could be a Ceratodus or a South American lungfish. The writer of the article in Nature speculated that it may be a relic of the race of giant armadillos which in past geological epochs were so abundant in southern Brazil. The Minhoko has been blamed, without sightings, for damage to local roads and the appearance of deep trenches that appear after long spells of rainy weather. Claims of a rumbling sound like thunder accompanying its movement led to suggestions that the Minhoko was being used to explain the area's seismic activity. 
This rumbling sound was also presage a period of rainy weather. While scientists were generally skeptical of the veracity of these claims, in May 1878, Muller was reported to have claimed to be about to bring a dead specimen to Europe. Interest in the tale led to a London newspaper proposing in the early 20th century to send an expedition to Brazil to attempt to ascertain whether the Minhoco existed. 